بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم As you know that in the previous video we have discussed the movement property of language and specifically we have dealt with the English language and in this video I am going to tell you that how we can generate the argument structure within the language and you know that we are discussing the English language the data we are discussing is specifically based on the English language because English is considered to be language of in interaction through the international borders. So we are discussing the data of English language and we can help from the English language data and we can apply all the theories on the particular language what we want to scrutinize, what we want to examine the data and for moving towards our topic I want to tell you that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. First of all, you should know that how we can generate the argument structure of the sentence. Argument structure is very important within the sentence because we should know that what we want to speak and what is the intention behind the sentence that is being spoken and this structure is called the argument structure this is the video that is more related to the semantics and if we want to generate the argument structure we should go for the previous concept in the previous concept we have discussed that our sentence can be consist of a subject and the predicate and we even we when we discuss the this diagram we can go to the more previous concept that is the this concept the x bar t first you should know that how many types of the argument and what are the name of the argument position and if we want to draw the x bar theory we can say that this is the head and this head has the two sides one is the left side and the other is the right side and one is the it, its internal side and one is, is its external side the external side is called the node that is on the internal side this is called the internal argument and the node that is the external side this is called the external argument and these are the argument that participates in the sentence and these argument tell us that who what we can put at this place and this particular place is based on the verb what type of verb a speaker should to construct the meaning this is basically the concept of we because we generates the argument structure firstly and if we want to send speak a sentence we first we have the intention and this intention is based on our verb what type of verb our cognitive faculty selects and what we want to convey the meaning and let's see first of all what are the arguments and what are the predicates see very simple word would you can see that arguments are the participants that involve within the activities this is the uh, simply word that the definition of argument if we want to say that john eats pizza and here we have the participant and the place of participant is the argument place at one place we have the one argument at the second place we have another argument but what are the these two argument doing they are participating in the activity and what is the activity activity is basically called the predicate predicate means the activity the event that is being held over the over the scenario this is the event and if we want to say that the event in event and if we want to establish some event if we want to make some event if we want to arrange some event 
we can say that we need the participant if we don't have the participant we don't arrange any event and if we want to make a sentence and this structure is called the activity and the events and for the event and for the activities we must have the arguments the participants and you see that this is our examples the man arrived the man hit the boy these are the two different examples and these examples are taken from the english language and if any speaker of english language want to convey the meaning that the man arrived here we have we have underlined the word because this is the argument and this is the single argument in this sentence and if we want to take the second example in this example we see that we have the two arguments and this is the requirement of this v and if we have the one argument this is the requirement of this v because the argument structure is totally based on the event the activity and if we want to show the activity and the event we must need some action word and that action word is basically called the verb and verb represents the event the activity and if we want to arrange some activity we need some participant and these participant are called the arguments and these arguments can be the external arguments of the verb and these are the external arguments of the verb and this is the our structure of the argument how we can assign the argument and these are the two position of argument if we want to arrange some activity if we want to make some activity within the language within the sentence within the derivation we can say that our sentence the very basic building property of our sentence is verb and this verb has the potential to assign the role of the arguments and it here we have the one frame and this frame is called the argument and at this place we have the frame and this frame is called the external frame and at this frame we can put one participant and in this frame we can uh, we can insert one participant and after putting the participant we can assign the role and what is the role of this uh, internal argument and what is the role of this external argument this is our core point and if we want to draw the sentence structure first of all we should know that what is the argument structure and if we want to know how we can generate the argument structure and then we will can construct the our sentence and for argument structure there is a crucial element that is v and you can even see that in our example arrive has the one argument this is the property of the v the arrive and in the argument structure we can say that this verb has one place predicate and in this sentence here is the one place in this place we can say that one activity and this activity we have the one participant that is that has been arrived and if we want to say that the man hits the boy and this is the activity this is the event and in this event we have the two place predicate because the underlying word the man is one argument and this is called the external argument as i have already drawn the diagram that this is the external argument and this is the internal argument and this is the the second argument and this is the internal argument because this is the inside of the head and this is the outside of the head so on this placement we can say that 
heat has a two frame and within these two frame we can assign the two roles one role to the boy and one role to the man but in abstract level we have the frame one frame for the man and one frame for the boy and if we if we did not want to place the word the man we can say that he john if we don't have the boy word we can replace the boy word but the requirement of the hit is that it must takes the two argument one the internal argument and the second is the external arguments this is our point to convey all the people you that and you can know that what is the sentence structure and what is the initial point in the sentence structure and if we want to draw the uh, the sentence derivation the sentence structure we have the verb and basically your verb determine the argument structure and in this uh, in this video i have told you that only the two example of the verb one the verb that has one predicate place and the second is the two predicate place and if you want to get more knowledge about the verb you can check the verb of your language and you can know that what is the argument structure of the verb basically your verb have the frames and on that frame we can assign the role and what we what are the role i have already told you that what are the role and if you want to know the how we can assign the role you can click over the link and you can know that how we can assign the role within the x bar structure thank you very much